Smokey. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Hi people. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Antonio Way. Today I have a new video for you guys. This is going to be a DIY dollar store challenge. Come over here. Go there. I decided to make this video because people really underestimate the dollar store. So today I'm going to be showing you guys three projects that you can do out of the comfort of your own home for the low, low, like low. These projects are super amazing, super fun, and super easy to make that you're just going to be surprised. Watch and see. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you follow me at the Antonio Way on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen for you. I post a lot of behind the scenes, home decor, and a lot of my fashion. And before jumping into this video, if you have any video ideas of content you would like to see, just leave a comment below. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. For this project, you will need a frame, a piece of turf carpet to fit inside your frame, six faux succulents, and a hot glue gun. Start by taking out the glass inside the frame. Then once you do that, add some hot glue inside and then insert your piece of turf carpet and press down so it can really stick. Since I had to take the frame apart to get the glass out, now is the time to hot glue the frame together and make sure you press it together so it can really stick and you don't have to worry about it coming apart later on. Okay, now I'll get all of the six succulents and take it out of the little cups that they're in. They're really easy to pull out. Once you do that, cut off a piece of the stem on the back of the succulent because they're kind of long. Once you do that, now add some hot glue and stick it onto the turf. And voila, the first project is done. See how super chic and super nice this project is? And it's super duper easy. And look how nice it came out. See, now you can put it anywhere in your house. For this second project you will need jute twine, a glass cylinder vase, tall artificial grass, and a hot glue gun. Get the cylinder vase and add some hot glue at the bottom part of the vase. Then put the jute twine on top and start wrapping the twine around the vase, eventually covering it. And make sure to add some hot glue wherever it is needed because you don't want the twine to unravel at any point. Now that we're all the way at the top now, add some hot glue, add the twine on top, and then cut the piece that you don't need off anymore. And voila, you're done with the wrapping part. Now get your tall artificial grass and insert it inside the vase and you're done. 
wasn't that super easy <laughs> i keep saying how super easy these projects are it's just unbelievable and they look so good Now onto the third and final project. For this one, you will need a round mirror, a black sharpie, a picture hanging kit, some rope, and a hot glue gun. Get one of your two largest picture hangers inside your hanging kit and paint them black with the sharpie. This will help it blend into the black round mirror. Once you're done with that, get your rope and measure how long you want the rope to be, and then cut it off. Now get your hot glue gun, and hot glue the picture hangers onto the sides of the mirror. Fold your rope around the picture hanger. Now get some jute twine from your previous project and wrap it around the rope to secure the fold that you just did. This is actually a last minute decision that I ended up making and it looked really good. Now that you have this nice little loop, you can insert your picture hanger through it and it'll hold the mirror up as well. Super easy and super functional. And that's it, you're all done. Let's see what it looks like hanging up. Okay, were these projects like super dope? Come on, you gotta give it a thumbs up for sure. Like, they're pretty amazing, aren't they? Let me know which project was your favorite down below. My personal favorite was probably the mirror. It's just, it's masculine, it can be feminine. You can put it in the bathroom, the bedroom, the living room. You can put it absolutely anywhere. It's super cool, super chic, and it can fit any style. I won't keep you guys for any longer. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post every Wednesday. And also follow me on Instagram at The Antonio Way. And I think that's about it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have an amazing day, guys. Peace. Say bye, Smokey. Bye. <laughs>